right? soon as they be like, I ain't gonna never book this nigga again, I'll find like, a like whatever I wish, lead and go crazy. I, yeah. I wish when we battled mm. around that time, you was rapping for real. Yeah. Cause the yeah. annex, I was like, this nigga, I don't know. What's he get? Man, I'm going with two rounds. Yo, I, yo, you cheated though. I'm, I'm, this nigga had me tight, my nigga. So boom, right? The battle over. I'm like, yeah, I just beat Mav. The nigga choked every round. The battle come out, his shit's clean as a whistle. I didn't choke. Yeah, you did, nigga. You choked in a second. It was only two rounds. He said, every round. It was only two rounds, man. <laughs> it, was it was only two rounds. It was no, only it was two? only two rounds. I think it was supposed to be three. Man. It was supposed third. to be three. And See? I, said, I remember I pulled you to the side. I was like, <laughs> nigga, yo, son. Nigga said, yo, son. I only got two rounds. Ain't got no third. I'm like, what do you mean? But nah, but nah, but nah, like you said, I like and I I I, I respect Cass for saying this because he put the bug in my ear like last time he was here. And he was saying, like, just imagine where battle rap would be if we would have took all of our battles serious. Like everybody. Ooh. Yeah. And I said that when he came on the show and he said that. That's I was like, yeah. crazy. Like I, I I think about that a lot. Like, yeah, my career, my career is where it is now. I don't know where it would be if I didn't do the antics, but Maybe it would have been bigger right. if I would have took every battle like extremely seriously. Indeed. I don't think or, so. Or you don't not think so? As, not individually, not just thinking about yourself. Because I said like you know antics mixed with talent is yeah. good, but not just you individually. Just like a collective, like just the culture. Period. You yeah. know, imagine yeah, if he true. wasn't thinking like. Man, I ain't, whatever, let me just get this money, like, you know what I mean? Because he already hot, it ain't no progression, it's the same shit. It's like, niggas ain't really getting the bags they looking for, they can't compete with these industry niggas. It's like, it's like feeling like a waste of time. Right, and you and you, but, you feel famous, as famous, but, as an industry nigga. But sure. you're not but you getting the not. bags, and you're not <laughs> being able to that. do the shit that you want to do. So you feel like, what the fuck, like, it don't... You know, like, am I, am I doing something wrong? Like, what right. the fuck is going on? Right. You know what I'm saying? But if there's opportunities and there's bags, you know what I'm saying, coming in, you know what I'm saying, for the battle rappers, then they can move different. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then niggas could be just. I ain't gonna lie. I used to be like, but 500, nigga, you gonna get. What I wanted to say as a collective, though, that's why we together. Because <laughs> if you would have went harder, every Shit. battle and took it serious, you would have went harder, every battle took it serious. Imagine if Mook would have went harder, Lux would have went harder. T Rex would have went harder. Like everybody would have went harder and did their best, even when they was getting the five hundreds and at least bags and niggas was bullshitting them or niggas was hating them or niggas was saying you shouldn't do antics or you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't punch niggas and niggas ain't never let that distract them. Niggas just kept it moving and doing their best every time. Right. Then imagine what the culture would be worth as a whole, not just y yourself. Yeah. Who knows if you would be worth more yeah. than yourself. I'm just talking about what this whole shit would be worth. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's what I be doing this shit for. You know what I mean? To show niggas that this shit is the energy. This shit is crazy and there's a lot of money in it. And that's why I be making these moves that I be making. Not mm -hmm. just for myself, but for everybody that's going to take it seriously and treat this shit right. right. That mm -hmm. shit going to benefit everybody that's putting in work with this shit, not just me. That's a fact. See, one day I got to have a conversation with you. Because there's a... I got pissed, it, man. That shit. <laughs> there's, go ahead, go ahead. there's a deeper... Motivation to that, that probably spawned from being young. Yeah. Because I think for all of us, we had that. But, but being in the battle rap world and hitting that ceiling, mm -hmm. it kind of kind of dulls out your passion for it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Until you find a we reason. Or it. niggas is like, it's over for you, dog. Right. You can't come back and do this <laughs> shit no more. Yeah. And then you're like, I mean, fuck everybody, back this wall, ah, I'm killing niggas again. Here we are, killing everybody, God, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you gotta, it's like you gotta hit that point. Like, yeah. you look at all the, the, the battlers that stayed active, Charlie Clips, For sure. Daylight, right. myself, all of us hit some point where we was like, Man, fuck <laughs> this shit. <laughs> I swear to God. Real talk. It's just like, man, fuck this shit. Beasley on my phone talk about what? You gonna give me what? Man, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get it. <laughs> All right, let I'm me gonna get take it. this money. <laughs> but you ain't getting the best math. <laughs> Facts, my nigga. That's an <laughs> ultimate fact, boy, because I promise you. Word. I boy have the, man, we used we used to have these conversations all the time. Like, <laughs> yo, what you got today, nigga? Like, it's gonna be one of them days. 
That's what I know all about. Yo, like, I, my nigga. It'd be this, like some of in a hotel uh, someplace in a different country, yo, a different state or whatever, just in a room like, yo, I got to finish my third. Yo, <laughs> yo I hate him. I'm, real, look, I'm telling you, this is real shit, bro. I ain't afraid to say this shit. I be mad at I him. knew something bad was going to happen in Summer Madness. Cause I was tight, my nigga. I'm like, yo, I, I looked at Mav from across the crowd. Mav was just like, the fuck is this shit? Word. Like, yo, it was it was bugged out, my nigga. So I I knew I'm like, yo, like there was a time where we felt worthless. Like we Word. felt worthless as human beings, like, like slaves. Like, man, I ain't about to just, I ain't working. I'm gonna take this <laughs> little bread, but nigga, I right. need it. You know, I got a bill or two, but nigga, I ain't working hard. I ain't. I'm just not. Like, I feel that. There's a couple songs I can't put out. But you know, but but now in battles. But now, but <laughs> now, you know, <laughs> I mean, this niggas didn't do that though. Yo, this I'm niggas gonna keep, I'm real, right? <laughs> niggas that put the, the battle with songs that's already. I'm gonna keep it real. But now it's like you know when when the motherfucker hit your jack and let, let's just let's boil let's boil it down to like damn put out real shit. But let, let's just boil it down to a uh uh uh. uh it's not a big bag, but in the eyes of a battle rapper, this is a big bag. Let's just say a nigga hit your, your jack with 15 bands. That's a, that's a big bag to an up and coming battle rapper. Right. Sure. Nigga, you gonna wanna go hard. <laughs> you know, you gonna, for sure gonna wanna go hard, right? right. So you know, let's, let's go higher than that. The nigga got 20, 30 for you. Nigga, what? We going hard all the way. But it wasn't like that all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't like that early. Big facts. Nah, but. Y'all talking about that, but talk about me, the person that was <laughs> in the I could have came back and yeah, got this nigga. fucking. Yo, give me your pre roll, my nigga. nigga. I got to smoke with this. 50, 75, 85, 100, and I'm like turning it down. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could have been going to get them hundreds, hundreds, and you know what I'm saying? Still doing my industry shit, but now nah, I'm turning it down because it's for the culture. <laughs> I told you I'm not coming back till I get a quarter million. And I said that and I mean that shit. Had to sacrifice for dumb years. How much years was that? Like 15 years before they got that amount of money up for me to come back. I could have been battling that whole 15 years really beating niggas. Imagine if I would have started battle rapping when battle rap first started from that 15 years and getting the most money from then and just demanding the most money that they was willing to offer me and I could have just and kept just getting it. Right. it. <laughs> yeah. Right. It. But you coming yeah, from a different place, Cass. Nah, yeah. it's a sacrifice you gotta make, man, for the culture to show niggas what this shit is about. When I start making them sacrifices, niggas started saying there was money involved. Mook and them started asking for money. Niggas started demanding money. When Mook said he got 20, he sent the coach in an uproar. But when Mook got 20, I said, I wasn't coming back until I get a quarter million. Like, y'all remember? Before yeah, Mook got I the 20. I remember that. Before Mook got the 20. I, mean, so I, spent I said, white I wasn't teams. coming back until yeah, I get a quarter million. But you got to understand, <laughs> 20, 20 for a murder Mook is like a quarter million for Cassidy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But what me making these statements and saying that is letting people know that there's money in battle rap and letting people know that what the part I play and the energy I am when people thought it was impossible. They like, man, he offered you 40. You ain't getting 40 a show right now. It's like, what are you doing in music? You're like, you need to go my battle rap. Yeah, I think like, Mook, Mook, that? Mook said God, that. Wow, shit, we could pull up. Everybody did all these blogs telling me to come back for these little ass numbers. Mm -hmm. Yo, you bugging, man. Smack hey, said he got little, 40 for you. Like, 40? I'm like, what? Like, just because everybody else only got 20 and 40 is like double what they... That ain't shit. I'm not coming back for that. No, hell no. It was no, good he did that, back. though, because you know what that's called? Setting the market value. Mm -hmm. If he can go ahead and get 250, what are you worth? What are yeah. you worth? What are you worth? Like, he, 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 when he did that, he raised the bottom line. For sure. And a lot of league niggas was mad. No, you, you know it's crazy. It Boom. Like, so they um after he came back versus Diz and the word was on the street that he had got what was it two fifty? Yeah. Word was on the street, right? So they was trying to hit niggas up to do the second joint again. Niggas was like, yeah, I need ninety. Niggas just start saying wild numbers after that, like, <laughs> like my nigga, you got three battles online. Fuck you talking about twenty bands, my nigga. Like, yo, niggas start saying wild nah, numbers. After I mean, but but then that's called but, uh, uh, market correction. No, nah, no, nah, he did. No, nah, he did. Level, a couple niggas got overpaid. Yeah. Good for them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then things leveled. We, we see this happen in the stock right. market all the time. Like yeah. the shit leveled out. But at the end of the day, the bottom line. 
was still raised and affected. So. Then I went and got that same number from every league. And then I said, now I want a million. I ain't go down. Mm -hmm. I ain't go down. I ain't say, all right, now I'm gonna come back for 30. No, <laughs> no, I want a million now. So what, if I get a million, then what do everybody else mm. could get? I ain't saying y'all could get a million like me. See, people <laughs> be making a mistake thinking just because I say I'm getting this, you just jump and say you want, no. Right. You gotta analyze your algorithms and what the part you play to, to, to determine your number. But it's definitely gonna be more than what niggas was ever getting in this yeah, shit. for sure, I mean. For sure. You just gotta like, know your part, know your role. Yeah, right. like everybody Cass, different. You gotta understand, Cass, you paying for, you not, you paying for Cass bars, you paying for his star status too. Like this man was a signed artist. Like, right. And his paying, promotion. You paying for it, of course, it's right. hard work. Yeah. Of course we know that. But I'm talking about you really paying for that whole fucking package right. when, you, when you book cast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how it go. Nigga like me, I mean, out the streets, I'm I'm okay with the 30s and the... That's what makes it 30. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good with the 30s right now. You know what I'm saying? You do that four or five times a year. That's how I was feeling about my nah, 500, the 30s, Reed. The 30s, That's how I was feeling about my 500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you come from a That's different place. My nigga, yeah. you was wild. Hey, understand. Matt. No. Them 30s would have been 2,500 if I ain't if I ain't say that I want this and I did it like this and showed this, this was available. For sure. Them 30s that you could keep coming to get, or you said whatever yeah. you get in y'all, these drugs, y'all, they wouldn't even have been available unless niggas like seen, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, man, I'm like, I need something. You know what I'm saying? And that's a lot. 30 right. is a lot. Niggas was going crazy when Mook got 20 and that was like the top you could ever get. Right. And then you say you come back in. I remember, yo, remember, like, remember you know when this motherfuckers out there still getting 25. But Bob, remember when I remember 20, when Mook. No, nah, remember right. when Mook honey. Honey. <laughs> Very popular. No, nah, no bullshit. Remember the man 25K, <laughs> I kill a nigga for real. Like, yeah. At that moment, niggas still thought 25 was impossible. Nah, for real though. And niggas like, yo, that nigga ain't get on 25,000. It was crazy. Real. Niggas still thought it was impossible. Like, I ain't gonna front, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can honestly say, like, you, you brought it up earlier, like, it took the passion away. Like, I feel like when the money came into play is when niggas got lazy. Cause I remember when we was pups, it wasn't no money. Involved. It was like, yeah. nigga, I'm better. It was like, yeah, we wanted it. Like, yeah, I'm better. We wanted that shit. Like, it was no Word. paper involved. And that's when niggas was going the but, craziest. But, but I can't say you know it was no paper involved, because mentally. I mean, you had a little bit of like hood right. shit, hood shit, yeah. like your OGs and niggas betting paper on the no, side but, and all but, that. But no, what I, I think what I'm about. What about to say is the ultimate goal was if I get better than you, I could get up there right. to possibly get, get For sure, money. for sure, for and, sure. And, for and sure. I think that's where Cassidy was at when he was doing it. Right. Saying, yo, this is to get me up here. Motherfuckers just stop. I, th I think that that disconnect yeah. is what fucked people up. Yeah. But if you you stayed like that, and that's what he's saying, he's basically saying, imagine if niggas just stayed on point. Yeah, for sure. Period. For sure. Where's sure. where's would be at? Yeah, that's be that's the crazy. That's, that was some hard waters to navigate, though. Yeah, right. Because niggas is. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard. Told Jim I need a bomb I could drop on you niggas. Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas. I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest. I solidify my spot with the. Rules. 